Hi, this is Andrew for Geek News Central, and today we're having a quick look at the Optima EH400 Plus digital LED projector. As you'll see from the video, this isn't a personal projector. It's a bit bigger than that. It's a, a much more flexible device that can be used either in installations or else can be used in, say, education or in large meeting rooms where you need a device that can, can pump out a bit more light over a much longer range. This is a 4000 lumens device. It'll do 1080p. So it's, 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 it's really playing with the big boys, as they say. And it, it's not just for traveling from A to B and doing short demonstrations. This is something that you'd need if you want to do that big projector and you want to impress. So let's take a wee look around the device. Um, we've obviously got the, the, this is the top surface here. We've got the, the lens at the front and really around the back we have an absolute plethora of ports that we'll come to in a minute. And uh, I'll show, so we'll take a look at the bottom in a minute um, as you'll see the, the mounting bracket that you might need if you want to hang it from the ceiling. So on the top we've got a few buttons obviously on off, bit of stuff to do with keystoning, um, you've got your inputs, information menu, all those kinds of things, and again you've got a, an IR port here. There is an, also an IR port, port here, whoops, if you can see it just out there, so which gives you the flexibility that if this device is either mounted on the ceiling or mounted on a desk, wherever you're standing in the room, the, the little remote control is going to be picked up by um, the projector and do what you want. You don't have to jump around the room trying to, trying to turn it off or correct anything. You've got a zoom here obviously on the top and if you need to adjust the focus there's a focus ring there as well. As I mentioned we'll have a look around the back because there really is a huge number of ports here. I'm trying to hold on to this so let's not hope that it doesn't skitter off the desk. There we go and trash it on the bottom. So we've got two HDMI ports, we've got two VGA ports and we've got a VGA out so which is great if you want to have a, a pass through back to a monitor on the uh, if you like the lecturer or the presenter's desk, S video, digital video, you've got audio in, audio out, uh, and you've even got a uh, a network port. Um, network port. It. Uh, I had a quick look at the manual about this one. It allows you to, uh, if you like, connect up the projector so that you can uh, adjust the controls of the projector via a web interface. It's also compatible with some stuff that I'm not really very familiar with. I think they talked about, uh, let me just see if I can find the record, I think they talked about Celestron or let me, Crestron I think it was. Yeah, Crestron, Extron and PJ Link, an AMX device. So if you use any of that kind of, those kinds of uh, tools or those kinds of um, environments within within your work, then it sounds like the uh, EH400 Plus will be compatible with that. On the bottom, yeah, we've got the, yeah, the sort of three-way, three mounting points here. So if you do need to hang this from the ceiling, you've got those those mount points there. There's some small adjustment here. There's a little screw thing that will come out um, so that you can make sure that you, you get the, the projector pointing in the right direction of your screen. What other features have we got on this? Um, Oh, there are some apparently some half decent speakers in here. I haven't actually tried them out myself, so take that with a small pinch of salt. Um, and you've got a Kensington lock if you if you need that kind of thing. Other features is well, one of the the, uh, the things that Optima kind of pitch are that this has excellent color reproduction. It uh, follows the sRGB space, the standard RGB space. Uh, color space, so you get really good color reproduction and the pictures that come up on the screen will look like the pictures as you kind of see them on the uh, on the monitor or on the screen. It's a high contrast device, um, should give you good blacks, good whites, um, and if anybody is still interested in this it does also support uh, 3D content from games consoles and Blu-ray and stuff like that, and those kinds of devices. And the uh, the USB port that's around here, I think it has two. There's two features. I haven't actually tried either of these out, but the port can be used for USB power. So if you are plugging in a, a Chromecast or a, some other media stick into the HDMI ports, you can actually power the device from that USB port. Also, I 
my understanding is that you can put a remote mouse, so if you plug a mouse into that um, USB port, you get some kind of equivalent of a, I feel like of a, I feel like of a laser pointer um, on the screen. I'll, I'll try that out a bit later on and, and report back. So overall, this looks to be a tremendously flexible um, flexible unit. So it's, it's, uh, it's not so heavy as you wouldn't want to carry it about, but it's, uh, it's not so light that you want to carry it for very far. Let me just check the specs and see how heavy it actually is. Ah, here we go. It's two and a half kilos. So, bag a couple of bags of sugar, as they say. Okay. Well, this is Andrew for Geek New Central. This is the EH400 Plus. Don't actually have a price for you yet. It's so new. Um, so, if you do need more information, check out Optima's website at optima.co.uk. Thanks very much.